So Gordon, we're starting this video at the end of the video because we had such a busy day here at the Installer Show, we forgot to film the intro for this video. We did, and the other news will be, we've lost Gary. So we don't know where he is. He's like a child wandering around in there. He's discovered the world of plumbing, but fear not, we've got some great electrical products that we found at this show. What we love when we come to a trade show is finding new brands and new products. And we found one here, this Ratio EV charger. Now, Ratio may be a new name to you, but this has a heritage for any electricians who've ever fitted some high quality Thorlux lighting. And you can hear the crowd in the background delighted about that. Um, so this charger here has some difference and it brings in that lighting heritage. I've been to loads of EV charge point locations where the lighting is absolutely horrendous. You pull up there at night, you don't know who's gonna leap out of the bushes as you try and plug in your car. And that's why it's great to see manufacturers thinking about that and integrating lighting within the product. And this lighting unit here is quality. It's downward light distribution, so it doesn't create any light pollution. And then we're into the charger itself. Nice slim unit, you know, an architect would appreciate this at the front of a building where a lot of EV charge solutions, when you put them together, may look a little bit agricultural. What we like about this is the slim design, two 22 kilowatt charging points in there with a, uh, with a type two socket that we're used to seeing for AC charging. A great solution and we're looking forward to seeing this coming to market. Hopefully you're thinking the same as I am looking at this domestic and commercial one. It reminded Gordon of his younger days back at home with mum and dad because he suggested, I wasn't aware of this, that this style of lead here was used on phones, believe it or not. But what is a great idea, isn't it? Because obviously that lead will wrap around in one around the EV charging unit and allow you to extend it out to the car, making your life considerably simpler. I said it was commercial and domestic, so we can have it as a single phase or a three phase unit. All the RCD protections built within it, as well as the pen fold protection on the single phase one with an upgrade to the three phase one to be built into this unit as well. So in times. So one product or service, should I say, you're going to be hearing a lot about, and this stand has been incredibly busy throughout the show, is Snap It. Now, the easiest way to sum up Snap It is Deliveroo, but for plumbing parts. Now, don't worry at this stage, electricians, electrical parts are coming soon, but think of the problem it solves. You're on site and you've forgotten something that you need really quickly to finish the job. What's the alternative? Pop down to the wholesalers. Yes, we know we like the free coffee down there. Um, but this uh, means you can order the parts via the app, you pay snap it, and the parts will be delivered to you in ultra quick time so you can stay on the job. Now we have done a full video with CEO and founder Victor. Watch out for that coming along to find out some of the great features about this service. One thing electricians ask about all the time is electric vans, and we've got one here. It's the Ford, the new Transit E, so the Transit you're very familiar with, incredibly popular, but Gary's found a special guest inside. Kimmy, you've told me more than once today, we're going places and we're in the 4D Transit. How far are we going? Um, well, if we don't have any load, nothing on, and it's fully charged, we can expect approximately up to 197. Okay, so we, we're perhaps not using the heater, mm. we've not got the sat-nav on. Okay, we're not plugged our phone in and draining that battery. Yeah. We're at 197 miles, but we're fully loaded. We've got a job to do together. Oh, yeah. That back's got everything in it. You What's charge our your range? phone as well? Well, I'm going to charge that phone. <laughs> What's our range going to be like this, Don? Um, we can expect up to 100 miles. Okay, 100 miles yeah. range in this. I get to the location, I'm thinking maybe I've turned off that Wi-Fi router, and maybe I want to make myself a cup of tea. Is oh. there any optional extras that Ford can do that we can pop yes, in the back? Yes, yes. Uh, we can have up to two optional additional sockets in the back. Okay, so, outlets, yeah. so we can go from, from vehicle to load then yep. up to about three kilowatts. Yep, yep. That seems really handy. That's another top feature, isn't it? So these are you know, going to be hot off the press. We're going to need one mm, of these transit yep. vans. Okay, they're not going to allow us to drive in, off in it, are they? So I'm thinking, <laughs> how long's that waiting list to get one of these? Well, you're going to have to come in nice and early and allow up to 12 months. 12 months in yeah, order yeah. we can get our hands on one of these. Yeah, Onwards yeah. and upwards. Beep, beep. But what if you're the clean car electrician? What if you've got people who work for you and you just want something to go around, check up on, carry a few small things to keep them busy on site? And this possibly where the Mustang Mach-E comes on. What a fantastic looking car. Now, if you keep up to date here on eFix and especially on Electrical News Weekly, our podcast, you'll know that van crime continues to be rife up and down the country. And here's an interesting fact for you. 62% of all van thefts and breaking occur outside your own home, which is pretty remarkable when you think about it. So the Van Guardian is one solution to this. What we're looking at here is uh, the device without the cover on. So we'll get a shot of that with the cover on. And what this does is this simply sticks onto the outside of your van. It's got 
an incredibly adhesive back on there, a 3M adhesive that just sticks onto the back of your van. And then that, you can arm it with this little fob and then if the van gets knocked or bumped or someone starts trying the handles, it'll trigger for two seconds. It'll make a little warning sound to let the uh, intruder know that it's armed. And then if the van gets knocked again or rattled or vibrated, then it will go into full alarm mode and it will hopefully scare away the person trying to break into the van. It's a really remarkable bit of kit. It's really easy to change the batteries, which last from five to six months. It's just a matter of taking the cover off with a special tool, undoing the screws and getting into the batteries to replace those. And what's even better is there's an additional product that you can buy that acts as a tracker with a one-off payment. There's no subscription fee and it responds to the noise made by this. So if your van gets broken into, it'll trigger that tracker, which will then trace the van if it gets stolen and it'll also alert you on your mobile device to let you know that the alarm's going off. This could well be a phenomenal solution to a problem that continues to plague the electrical and all industries that involve vans, because here's another interesting fact, the back of your van doesn't generally have an alarm in it. If the van comes with an alarm, it's all in the cab, not in the back where your expensive stuff is. So we think that is a really clever solution. Looking at discrete heat thermo skirt, but before we get to that, I'm sure the first thing you notice is this wonderful looking wet radiator. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could smuggle our heating into rooms? I know what you're thinking straight away, underfloor heating smuggles in. Well, that's not always an option that we can go for, but we can with maybe repurposing something we're used to using outside to keep pipes warm, stopping and bursting. When we think about the trace heat tape, and we've managed to smuggle that into the back of this, which effectively becomes the skirting board within the room. So we electrically can heat that room. You might be saying, well, I don't want to electrically heat my room. I want to stick with water, but maybe get away from these old radiators. And that means you can use the other version that actually allows us to insert the pipe work within these two slots in order that we can use that radiant heat to heat the room. I think it's a clever little idea and a beautiful way to get rid of these ugly looking radiators. So our next find here at the installer show is this clever little cavity fixing from Fisher. This is a really clever bit of kit. All you've got to do is just drill your hole in the wall and then you push that bit there through and it springs out on the other side, giving you that locking mechanism to screw into. It's got this tiny little hook on it that stops it from spinning around inside the wall. And then once you've got that securely in place, you just slide this bit down and into the fix in there, and that allows you to get your screw in. However, we know that nothing ever runs as smooth as we want it to, so if it should so happen that you can't get this all the way through the cavity, and it stays sticking in like that, you can actually use that bit to screw in as well. Comes in two different sizes. You've got an M10 uh, hole, which fits an M5 screw, or an M12 hole, which fits an M6 screw, or an M6 bolt. I think that's a really handy bit of kit. Over here at Socket and C, we've got the plug lock. Simple idea, and aren't they often the best ones? Safe isolation and proving dead is a key component of the eFix channel. We've got CPDs that cover it. But this reminds me of my time when working in FE. I had lots of 13 amp plug tops and long flexes in in order to energize consumer units when we're working. I was paranoid that somebody would plug them in and liven up the other end, but maybe not in that position. Maybe you're working in the back of a fridge. You pulled out that appliance to do a repair and the flexible lead is somewhere located. Wouldn't it be really easy to drop one of these on here in order that you could secure the isolation process, preventing anyone else turning it on? Great idea. So another service we found while we've been trawling around the show is order work. So how does order work work was the question that I had and I've just found out. So imagine this product solves two problems. The first one is somebody orders something like a smart thermostat or a smart doorbell or even a speaker and we'll come back to that and they need it installing. They've, they've purchased and they're ready at the checkout. They don't know how to fit the tech which happens. This is when order work comes in. Now they will arrange installation for you, putting it out to a network of contractors, which is the second problem it solves. If you're looking for more work in terms of electrical installation and you fit smart thermostats and things like that, then you possibly need to register with order work. I will put a link in the description. Do the job. Now we know we said that we'd got seven products in this roundup, but we found an eighth bonus one and we just couldn't resist telling you about it. This is a combined light fitting and speaker from Zuma, which is an absolutely brilliant bit of kit. All you're gonna see when this is in the ceiling is this little disc here with the light in the middle. And it's designed to make a really sleek, flat look to a ceiling so you don't have to have separate lights and separate speakers, sound bars, messy wires everywhere. You've just got the one integrated product. You've got your light source in here and also a really high quality speaker that's gonna turn any space into a fantastic room. 
Well, we saw Gary for a while, but then we lost him again. But if you really like going to trade shows without having to go to trade shows, then check out this video.